Same night, one young man is remembered. Another crime scene is established very close by. It's been an active period for Peoria police. It is Tuesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Griska. The most recent incident at Wisconsin and Fry. And again, it is a shooting. And that's where we find Paige Blanzy with tonight's top story. Paige. Tyler Amber, police just left the scene here. They told us one person was shot on the corner of Wisconsin and Fry. We're actually less than two miles away from a vigil that was held earlier this earlier tonight for the victim that was killed on the shooting and Hong's Avenue. It happened after eight tonight right outside of Glen Oak School. Earlier, we saw dozens of police officers here putting down markers around a car collecting evidence. More than 30 people were crowded around the scene looking for answers. One witness says she saw one man shoot another in his chest. The victim was taken to a hospital. Police have not told us his injuries or if they have a suspect. And police are still investigating this shooting incident, and we will keep you updated with more information as we find out those, those details. Reporting live in Peoria, I'm Paige Blancy, 25 News. Back to you. Our Paige, thank you. And around 7 p.m., a crowd met in honor of a young man who died late Sunday night on the 4th itself in a shooting. 21-year-old Michael Anthony Charles Johnson II was one of four people shot just after 11 p.m. on Sunday. He was pronounced brain dead this afternoon at OSF St. Francis Medical Center. Dozens of people lined the streets near that shooting scene on Hong's Avenue today in his memory.